Here's an ice cream. Actually, we have the ice cream on the top and this is called the cone and it's one of the three dimensional shapes we will look at. It looks something like this and when inverted will look like this. Whenever you see a three dimensional figure, you just have to ask yourself two questions. What is the figure made of and how is it defined? The cone has one circular base and a slant curved surface. The slant curved surface begins at the vertex and grows towards the base. The next thing we need to know is how a cone is defined. A cone is defined by two parameters. First, its height and second, the radius of its circular base. This length will be the height and this length will be the radius of the circular base. So if both these parameters are given, we will get a unique cone. What does this mean? Say you are asked to draw a cone which has the radius of its circular base 5 cm. So you draw it like this. Well some of you may draw it like this or maybe like this. The radius of the circular base is the same in each case but to define it uniquely we need the height too. Now let's analyze an inverted cone. If we take the circular base out we will be left with a hollow open cone. Now, if we tear open the cone vertically from the vertex, this is how it will look. And now, if we just open this up a bit more, this is how it will look. And guess what this is? It is a sector of a circle. So the curved surface of a cone, when opened up, looks like a sector of a circle.